Good morning, everyone. Good early afternoon. It's Pastor Bramick. It's March 2nd, and it's Wednesday. And uh, we are in John chapter 11 today. And we're starting at verse 1, if you'd like to turn there now and join me. Now, a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you. And are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of the world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not with him. After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus has died, and for your sake I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. So Thomas, called the twins, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. And when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet he shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that. You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. So, a uh, famous passage here, you know, we're at sort of the halfway point in John's Gospel. Now Jesus is being sought out that he might be killed because he now has a reputation. Uh, the disciples are not quite understanding what Jesus is saying, but Jesus wants to show them that he can raise from the dead. You have kind of this interesting uh, quote here from Thomas that I had forgotten about, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that Thomas uh, says, let us go also that we may die. So Thomas is there. Thomas is going to witness Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. But then, of course, we know that at the end of the gospel, Thomas is the one who doesn't believe. Of course, he doesn't believe that Jesus has risen from the dead because he's, he's not there to see the first resurrection appearance of Jesus. So uh, it's, it's, it's interesting that John makes a reference to Thomas here, you know, because outside of the ending point of Thomas, we really don't know a whole lot about him. But we're being set up now for what uh, Thomas is going to say uh, later on in the gospel. So, um, you know, Jesus tells Mary and Martha that he is the resurrection and the life, that whoever believes in him will not die. People are seeing Jesus as one who has great power. Maybe he can even stave off death. But to raise someone from the dead, now this is even, uh, even more impossible. And, uh, you know, Lazarus is going to be in the tomb for four days, remember? So... Um, it's, it's really, all this is done to, uh, communicate to people that Jesus is, he's more than a prophet. He is God in the flesh. He is the fulfillment of prophecy. He is the Messiah. And they're going to see all that, yet still they'll doubt. But then, you know, when Jesus raises himself from the dead or when the Father raises him from the dead, um, then everything will make sense. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you, give you his peace. Amen. Okay. So it's Wednesday, and today marks the beginning of Lent, and it's Ash Wednesday, and so we will be having services tonight at 7 for the imposition of ashes, and then, of course, um, come at 6 if you'd like to join us for a, a supper. It's already being cooked, and so uh, we're, uh, we're excited about that. Um, grief share is happening tomorrow night, and then confirmation is back at its usual time this coming Sunday at 6 o'clock. Um, wanted to remind you that Messiah Lutheran Church has the Fort Wayne uh, Seminary Men's Choir coming down called Cantor I, and they're going to be performing, or not performing, but um, um, a, accompanying uh, evening prayer worship at Messiah on, uh, on Monday night. So uh, that's going to be at 7 p.m. It's going to be uh, a very moving and inspirational um, addition to the worship. So if you would like to be there, um, I think it'll be a great opportunity to hear some, some very good Lutheran, um, Lutheran music and, and hymnody to our Lord. And then Season Saints is in six days, March 8th, so hope to see you all back again who came, uh, who came last time. And then Men's Breakfast is going to be Saturday the 12th of March, uh, followed by the elders and council the next day. All right. That's all the announcements I have for today. Please join us tonight. Um, the service will be online as well, but uh, ashes and Holy Communion happening uh, this evening. All right. God bless the rest of your Wednesday.